Hi everyone, Melissa here from Creative Memories Home Office. Today we are going to create a layout using the Toil and Trouble collection. To create this layout, you will need a 12 inch trimmer, black and white cardstock, Toil and Trouble stickers, Toil and Trouble paper, the Victorian fence border punch, the border maker system along with the pumpkin chain border maker cartridge, foam squares, a scissors, tape runner, repositionable adhesive, and washi tape. We are going to use the yellow patterned paper as the base for this layout. We are going to start by using our 12 inch trimmer and cutting a piece from the aqua polka dot paper to measure 3 inches by 12 inches. From that same piece of paper, we are going to cut a piece that measures 3.5 inches by 4.5 inches. Using the black patterned paper, we are going to cut a piece that measures 1 inch by 12 inches, and then we are going to cut another piece that measures 4 inches by 5 inches. Using the white cardstock along with the Victorian fence border punch, we are going to punch a border along the edge of the cardstock. Using the trimmer, we are going to cut approximately one and three quarters inches wide. To create the fence post, we are going to cut a piece of black cardstock to measure a half of an inch by five inches. Then we are going to use a scissors to cut a point at the end. Using the pumpkin chain border maker cartridge in the original border maker system, we are going to punch two borders from the orange patterned paper. Adhere the aqua and black strips along the top and bottom edge of the layout. Using repositionable adhesive, we are going to adhere the fence and one of the pumpkin borders along the lower edge of the fence to the layout. Adhere the second pumpkin border along the top of the previous pumpkin border using foam squares. Adhere the hexagon border sticker just below the pumpkin border. Then you will adhere the black cardstock or the fence post to the layout using your tape runner. Adhere the remaining stickers to the layout using foam squares on some for added dimension. Adhere the photo mats to the layout angling slightly.
tearing two small pieces of washi tape, add to the upper right and lower left corners of the photo mats. To complete this layout, you will add photos and journal as desired. We would love to see your finished project on social media using hashtag creative memories.